1911 another one and why not this is such a pretty thing and i'm happy to own another one hey there everyone i'm back here with another firearm to look at let me make this clear that this is not an expert review this video is just a first impression from an end user this is supposed to be an unboxing but technically it cannot be called in such a way because i have already unboxed this thing in the store uh, before receiving it so it came in this plastic box as usual there you are so this is how the package arrived you have here the firearm itself and one magazine there's a slot here i don't know what this is intended for maybe a cleaning kit but i found it empty so i'm gonna take this gun out this magazine is already loaded with some rounds to check if it's functioning properly so this is my brand new rock island armory rock ultra compact size did i say the name correctly i hope so let me clear the weapon first to make sure that it is empty okay this is a safe weapon this is a 1911 but in compact size why don't we get the dimensions first its overall length is about six and a quarter and the height is five and a quarter it would be five inches without this magwell thickness is just short of an inch it's about 0.8 to 0.9 of an inch how about a size comparison this let's compare it with the full size 1911 by the way this is a nine millimeter and this is a caliber 45 so that's how they compare in length how about in thickness just about the same okay. so what do we have here so this is from the rock island armory a company owned by arms Corps and this is made in the philippines so proudly pinoy made mga kababayan so what else do we see here it's got a barrel of uh, 3.6 inches this is a bull barrel it's got no bushing full length recoil guide skeletonized hammer we have a skeletonized trigger ambidextrous safety extended beaver tail it's already got a mag well installed it's got a dovetailed front side with fiber optics installed rear side is adjustable both on elevation and windage well, that's a good thing it's got g10 grips this is made by vz i believe and it's got some aggressive texture a little bit too aggressive maybe some complain about it me myself i find it to be a little too aggressive even for me even if i have callous hands so what made me buy this gun first thing is that i am a fan of 1911s 1911 pistols are still the best designed pistols for me having the full size i also desire to have one in a compact size do i intend to have this for uh, concealed carry I don't know I don't think so because this one is a bit hefty let me measure the weight of this one nine one thousand grams it's it's one kilo I don't think this is really suited for you know concealed carry it's gonna pull my pants down and if you add a fully loaded magazine into it that will be 1168 grams so imagine this weight clinging into your pants 
looking at this pistol i uh i can admire its fit and finish it's got a matte black parkerized finish except for this part of the barrel which is polished and i can see the finish on this one to be excellent i see no roughness in any place here and so when i saw this in an arm score store here i was immediately impressed by the looks and how it felt and when i asked of the price the more it impressed me this gun retails for uh, 45000 pesos something around there but i got it with a gun show price of 36000 pesos so that would be like seven hundred dollars us dollars so it's a good bargain although it's, it's a bit expensive if you compare it with the prices there in the usa but uh, this is the philippines and prices of guns here are much higher compared to the U that of the us with the quality that i'm getting out of this and the price that i paid for this one i cannot complain and how about the action the trigger action internet says that this trigger pull is is about four to six pounds it's a crisp trigger action you get a little slack here about one or two millimeter of slack and then gives you a very clean break and that is what i really appreciate about 1911s you get this classic separation I would have wanted a separation here on the front of the slide because I am used to racking the slide via the front uh, part of the slide but uh, we don't have it here so I'm just gonna have to suit myself racking it here at the rear part of the slide now if there's one considerable complaint that I have for this gun is that it comes with only one magazine this is a Megar magazine by the way it's an eight round magazine and uh, yeah you get only one magazine and you may want to buy spares but the problem is the availability went around and i cannot find an eight rounder magazine so i bought uh, these 10 rounder magazines and the thing about this if you insert it this is how it's gonna look it protrudes because yeah these are for the full size pistols so but anyway these are spare magazines and uh you would want more rounds in your you know extra magazines what is important is that um with what's inserted in your magazine while carrying it it's it's flush the thing is this magazine doesn't have a bumper and with this magazine well it's difficult to insert this magazine you will have to poke your thumb in here to have it seated well, my solution is to get it a bumper okay so i'm gonna put it install it here so that when i insert it it's gonna look like this should look good right now after looking at the gun we appreciate its looks we appreciate its action we gotta go to the range and find out how this thing shoots so stay tuned here at the range now first shots of my rock ultra 1911 in compact size in nine millimeter Well, that's rather embarrassing. First few shots here, still adjusting. I had to shoot it rested so I can verify the trajectory. If it doesn't shoot straight, I can make adjustments on the adjustable rear side. And find out if it shoots in tight groups, minus the shooter's shaky hands and poor vision. And yeah, I guess it's shooting pretty good. 
those scattered first few shots are just shooter's error. So there's your tight group. There's one that went astray. It's when I jerked it. Shooting it with one hand to assess the recoil management and should be no problem. Let's try the weak hand. Still no problem there. The heavy weight really helps with the recoil management. Let's shoot it a little faster and it works just fine. My 10 rounder magazines worked perfectly. No problems there. Now here's my first malfunction. When the last round for this 8 rounder magazine did not feed. Oh no. I think it happened twice. Another small issue that I had is that the magazine will not drop by pressing the magazine release button. So I had to pry the magazine plate for it to be removed. Other than that, I can say that the gun shoots pretty well, hits targets and cycles pretty good. So I should be very confident carrying this pistol with me. Yes, I... So there you go my friends, we have test fired this gun. and. I would say I'm satisfied with how it shoots. Now this might be a compact size pistol, but I don't think this is going to replace my concealed carry pistol. These guns with a polymer frame are much better suited for the job. This one I may carry this in my duty rig. Of course, why not? It looks good and it's reliable enough. It has limited rounds capacity though, but this 8 round magazine loaded with some hollow points should be enough plus um, a pair of 10 rounders um, should serve me well alright so would I recommend this gun of course I would like to recommend this especially to those who have uh, budget limitations this is not an expensive gun but the quality of this one well Arms Corps has been producing quality guns in the recent years. For myself, I have previously owned a Rock Island Armory pistol. That's the one that I use for the competition and I've been satisfied so far. So I have reason to believe that this pistol is going to serve me well. So I hope I have given you some information, some insights about this pistol for those who are considering buying this one. So I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please click that subscribe button and that will be awesome. So keep safe everyone, stay sharp. Till next time.